Hello and welcome to Dubai This Week. On today's episode, we're joined by Sara El Madani, a businesswoman from the age of 15, a serial entrepreneur, a public speaker, and most recently a cast member of The Real Housewives of Dubai. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Sara, how does it feel? We're a few episodes in. Uh, not the TV star Sara, but how does the person Sara feel right now? Uh, that's a very hard question. So, it's definitely it's something new. I've never done this in my life before, and a new experience, um, new path in life, and the person Sara feels like, you know, I was authentic, I was me, I was real, so now the world gets to see the real me. And I'm confident because, you know, I portrayed myself the way I am. Like, I did not create a personality for the show, I did not fake anything, it was just 100% me. That's why. I don't know, like if you've noticed, most of the episodes, 80% of them, I have no makeup on. <laughs> because I'm like, True. a woman who runs a couple of companies, has a baby, and like does everything on her own, I don't have time to glam up every single day, and that's the reality. That's real. Yeah, it's, it's definitely real, yeah. But you know, you were a public person beforehand. You've been a public speaker, you're very active on social media. So why did you decide to expose yourself in this way on Real Housewives? So three reasons. Number one, um, I've always thought that Arab women, the Arab world, and like our culture and religion needs a huge PR campaign for the West, you know? And I was like, what's other, what's as big as this? There's no other thing. So I was like, why don't I set an example for all the people in the West to see how a modern Arab woman is? I'm not, I'm not, um, how do you say, I'm not portraying the life of an Emirati woman. I'm not representing uh, the Emirati people or anyone's wife or anything like that. No, I am representing me. But what I want to do is take myself as an example to kill the stereotype about Arab women. Because they all think we're submissive, they think we have no rights. So I was like, once they see this, they'll see that they've been wrong all along. So that's the first reason. Second reason is definitely it's amazing for your personal brand. Mm -hmm. And third reason, I love crazy experiences. Like, I live for it, you know? So I was like, let's do it. It's wild. Let's go for it. Let's Adrenaline have fun. rush? Let's have fun, yeah. But of course, there's been backlash um, even before the show came out, just with the promo, both from women and men saying, this does not re represent us, this does not represent our values. I'm sure you knew this would come uh, mm -hmm. before placing yourself in the situation, but you still decided to. And why is that? And also, what do you tell these people who come with criticism? I definitely knew there was going to be criticism because, you know, this, there's, some, there's one sad thing in a lot of, not, not a lot, some of the Arabs, okay? We, they fear change. And when they see someone that doesn't act or look like them or does something different, it makes them not feel good. As if like we're an extension of each other. We're all different souls. We're free souls. We're free spirits. And I have lived my life the way I wanted all my life. You know, so knowing that I'm going to do something like that, I know there's going to be backlash, but I know I've told myself, you've done nothing wrong. You are on a show, it's happening in the UAE, and there's someone from the UAE on the show, gotta be there. So just do it. Don't worry about the backlash. Once people see it, they'll get the point, they'll change their mindset, which is, which is what happened. When it aired, a lot of the people who attacked me apologized and said, we're sorry, we didn't know, we didn't that. Mm -hmm. Now the point is, people did not know that this is not a documentary showcasing mm -hmm. how people um, how people are portrayed in the UAE or Dubai. This is a story about six people, individuals representing themselves and their lives. Whatever you see on the show is what happens in Dubai. It's, it's a fact, we cannot deny it. But Dubai being um, the, la like the city of tolerance, like the UAE being the country of tolerance, taught us that we can look at people who are different and coexist and co-live without any problems. You shared a message on your personal Instagram account and I found it interesting because you always speak in English uh, yeah. to your audience, but your message was first in Arabic. In Arabic, yeah. I had to because most of the backlash came from people who speak Arabic. But um, I did the video to clarify uh, because a lot of, it, what's funny is a lot of people were like, change the name of the show, do a petition. I'm like, guys, this is a franchise. Mm -hmm. It has a name, it's a legacy. It's been named like that for 15 years. It does not mean it is a documentary about how housewives in certain cities and countries are. Not at all. The lives of six people, having fun, enjoying, living, struggling, hustling, and you're gonna see it raw, real, you know? And uh, that's all the show's about. 
You know, there's a saying in my language, show me who, who your friends are and I'll tell you or know who you are. Yeah. And from what I've seen so far, you are shocked at times at what's said around you. Mm -hmm. Are these your friends? Look, the truth is, um, two of them are my friends. I've known them for a while and I'm the kind of person, my circle is very small and I differentiate best friend, friend and acquaintance, you know? So friend and, and acquaintance are people I know, but my best friends, they are the people I live with, grow with, go with, come with, you know, fall with, they're completely out of the circle. But they are, some of them, the girls are acquaintances, some are friends, but um, yeah, some I love and uh, some I'm getting to know, that's it. So people that are watching and seeing you and seeing a bit of the Emirates through your eyes, what do you want people to see about the UAE and what do you want them to take from you? I want, you, I want people to look at me as a product that was born out of how the UAE is. Like, if you look at Dubai, for example, Dubai says nothing is impossible. Um, we are uh, fast forward, yet very stable. We are uh, out thinking, yet very traditional. They're a mix and fusion of everything. I am a mix and fusion of everything. So my character is based on how I was raised here, how my country is, and how my leaders are, and the kind of influence they give us. So this is why you see me as a woman. Nothing's impossible for me. I'm everywhere doing everything because I'm a byproduct of my country. We're looking forward to seeing yeah. the rest of Real Housewives, but this is a great platform. What, what's next for you? What's next for, for you in business? What's next for you as an entrepreneur? I mean, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you need to you need to understand something about Sara. Sara, like, as I always say, I live I, I live once. I want to try everything. So right now, I'm building with my business partner uh, business partners. I'm building an electronic vehicle, an oh, EV I car. Saw that. So I'm doing that, and I just launched NFTs and like I, I want to try everything. And I don't believe you have to be educated in something to start a business in it. It's all about leadership. It's about hiring people who are smarter than you to teach you more about the business. So I'm all over the place, babe. I don't know. Tomorrow I might be doing acting, singing. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just started taking vocal classes recently. I was like, let me see if I can sing. So it's, you live once. Okay, can you share? No, I've, I've just started. Okay. Take it easy. Okay. I'll come back and I'll come sing back for you. And sing for me. <laughs> but no, I want people to understand that if you live your life the right way, one time is more than enough. And Stop existing, it's time to live. Is love part of that? 100%. Live, love, laugh, that's it. And, are you with anyone? When what? Are you dating anyone? No, I'm single. You're single? <laughs> I'm single. Do you hear that, single everyone? For a very, very long time, yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for, for a woman who's successful uh, to find true love. Why I've, do you think? I mean, I, I feel like a lot of men are intimidated. I know there's a lot of men who are not, but I haven't came across any of them. I know how it feels like to be used and abused, that been there, done that, wore a t-shirt. So now I'm looking for, for something more genuine, more real. Amen to that. Amen to that. Sara Almadani, thank you so much. This thank has been so much. an absolute pleasure. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.